Today, we're gonna install these strobe control for LED stoplights. It says LEDs, but I got a halogen on there to see if it work. We'll find out. All right, so I just picked these up. There's two of them right there. One's gonna be for the passenger, one's gonna be for the driver's side. All right, and the reason I have this halogen bulb hooked up is to see if it'll work. Let's see if it'll strobe every time we hit the brakes. And I think it will. I know it will. I just tried it and it did. Touch the damn wires. All right, I went ahead and set the camera down because I need both hands. Let's go ahead and give it a try. There it is. Sweet. So we'll go ahead and plug that in now that we know it works. All right, so after we know that this works with our halogen bulbs, next thing we're gonna do is disconnect our tail light. There it is with the three leads. One's gonna be for our active lights, which we're gonna go turn on, just like so. And the other one is gonna be for the brake light. So we have an active wire our ground and the brake light i'm not really too sure which one's which but we're gonna find out the way you find out is with your trusty voltmeter this is how you find out so if you turn your pigtail you'll be able to see a couple of prongs the way we're gonna do this is obviously this one is negative just like so and the other one, we're gonna find out which one is active and which one is for the brake. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that real quick. All right, so I have it connected to the red and black. Obviously, red and black. But look at it on this other end, it's also red and black. That red and black is reading 12 volts. Meaning, the ones I'm gonna tap in is this green and black. This green one is gonna be our brake light. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I went ahead and peeled this wire cover. That way I have a little bit of more access, a lot more access. So now we're gonna do our fine chops. Like we said, it was the black and the green one. So we're gonna chop these right here. Throw that in the middle and throw some connectors in between. All right, so there I have my connection set up. Wires are spliced. Now, if you notice, this is in and out. So the end, we're gonna take it in here and the out towards the pigtail. So let me go ahead and wire that up. So it's gonna be black on black, then red on green. All right, and we're just gonna crimp these down. Might need the other hand to do this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use both hands. All right, so there it is. This spacer is on there. So now, what we're simply going to do is plug this right in. And I'll do the other side and we'll give it a test drive. All right, I try to clean this up as much as possible. This came with two stickers, double sided sticky tape. That way you could stick it onto the frame. And there it is. This one's from my reverse cam. I'm going up in here. So 
yeah let's go ahead and set up the other side now all right so i went ahead and did them both let's see how it looks sweet one more time nice nice and synchronized one more time heck yeah sweet thank you for watching please like and subscribe uh i know i said please like and subscribe but that's pretty much it um that's what you do set both of these up they're both set up now you do is just close this up and you're ready to rock and roll that's it look at that ready to rock and roll hey stop hitting daddy's car with that spoon cut thank you <laughs> oh no sorry thank you for watching please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell all right let's get out of here before we get kicked out